Hi, how are you, everybody? Uh, welcome to this uh, live webinar, Study English at Speak Up London in the UK. If you are interested in studying uh, English in London, this webinar is for you. Uh, my name is uh, Hugo Busamante, Recruitment Manager for Global Studies. Uh, Global Studies is an educational agency uh, which helps you to apply abroad. We have different destinations like the US, UK, USA, Canada, Australia, Germany, Spain, uh, Denmark, Lithuania, Holland, Ireland, Malta, Cyprus, and other destinations. If you want to, uh, we to help you to uh, with your application, with all your process of application, you just have to contact us. You have here our number, our email address, and we will help you with all the process. And uh, today we have with us, uh, we will be talking about uh, Speak Up London. And uh, I want to uh, remember you that you can uh, see this uh, webinar in Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, if you want to see this uh, event and other webinars we had, you can uh, search us in, in this uh, social media, follow us, and you will know all about this. Uh, you have to find us as Global Studies UK. And um, we'll wait for you. Today we will be talking about Speak Up London School of English. Um, Speak Up London is one of the top language schools in central London. They offer both online and face-to-face -face courses, uh, group and individual classes. They are experienced uh, team of, uh, they have an experienced team of, of teachers uh, that will tailor your course to your needs to help you achieve your goals as quickly as possible. Speak Up London aims to prepare students and staff to succeed in achieving their learning goals and potential uh, by providing an excellent learning experience. Speak Up London offers you English courses. Uh, they have English courses, uh, business English, young learners, IELTS preparation, uh, Saturday courses, individual lessons. And today we have our guests. I want to introduce you to Kate Jeffries and Hi. Musa Aken. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you, everybody? Fine. Uh, well, I want to tell you a, a little bit more about them. I want to introduce you to Kat Jeffries. She is a teacher and teacher trainer, uh, currently working as director of studies for Speak Up London, with uh, over 12 years teaching experience gained at large and small institutions in the UK, uh, tens of CPD sessions delivered every year and a deep passion for languages and uh, multilingualism. Uh, Kat's goal is to ensure Speak of London students and teachers have the best experience possible. She believes that uh, any form of multilingualism opens doors and makes the world a better place. And she says, English language exam preparation has been one of my main areas of interest. And I believe that IELTS skills can be taught in a fun, engaging way that helps prepare students for life beyond their exam. And please let me talk to you a little bit more about uh, Musa Akem. He is a marketing and sales specialist, currently working as account manager for Speak of London. He has a wide perspective approach in order to provide solutions at both B2B and B2C level with years of experience in the ELT sector, being in close contact with the individuals and the organizations in the sector. Uh, Musa's goal is to ensure Speak Up London's partners and Speak Up London students have the best customer service possible. He uh, believes in the importance of the student experience in terms of language learning, adapting to, goal, uh, to global culture, and improving professional skills through multilingualism. <laughs> Kat and Musa, uh, it is a pleasure to have you here with us. And uh, we have a little video to show to our audience.
perfect. Y, Musa, I know you have a presentation for us. Please, you can go on and talk as well. Thank you very much, Hugo, to invite us today here with me and Kat, and we really appreciate that. And we are super excited and to meet with yeah, your students, to explain them and who we are and where we are and how we are doing and what we are offering to them. So I'm going to give them a little induction today. And this is our plan today. And we're going to give them a little introduction. And after my introduction of history, I'm going to give the talk to my colleague Kat. And she's going to explain in details what is the general English courses, what are IELTS exam courses, exam preparation courses, and she will explain it in it very details. So then afterwards, I'm going to take the conversation again. I'm going to explain our accommodation options, our social activities. Of course, if you are here today, and we will be offering a, a big offer for them. So Perfect. they hear very good news from us. Uh, if they attend, uh, if they are attending today to this meeting and to this webinar, and they will get a very, very big offer from us. And if they would like to study uh, to pick up London, both online or face to face, uh, it's up to them. And then afterwards, we're going to run a Q&A session. And then we're going to accept uh, questions. And me and Bob, Bob Kat and me and I um, will try to answer those questions, hopefully. So, I would yes. like to start, who are we, basically, and where we started? And CPCAP started, actually, with only two classrooms in a basement. But our energy and the synergy with our students, with our team, was such a great and is such a um, radiating to our other students. And we has been grown, we has been growing for eight years now. And just we started on October 13th, 2012, we got our accreditation in 2013. And which is very important because we are accepting students from overseas. And accreditation is very important for them because if you have accreditation, we are able to support their visa applications and with our letter. So we were worked hard and gained our accreditation and very soon after our opening. And we grown, our team grown, and our students started to increase. Then we switched to new building. And but of course, it was just extra five classrooms. It wasn't enough for us very soon. Just in two years, we switched to a new building, which is our current building right now on Oxford Street, and which is a very vibrant environment, very close to Soho, and is a very nice, unique boutique building, which is Berwick House, which is our new address. And we've been running our English lessons for over five years now in this building. And this is a four floor building and very historical, very um, central, easy to reach from everywhere, anywhere basically from London. We have Tottenham Cultural Station is very close to our school, Oxford Circus Station is very close. Our students potentially can reach from anywhere else from London. And then also very close to Soho as well, which is the students might want to spend time in, uh, in the central London. And just after one year later, when we switched our building, and we got our re-inspection from the British Council, and we carried out our accreditation um, for, for the next term. And, and of course, as everybody knows, we experienced very, um, unexpected times, and we all worlds had to switch online 
actually have had to switch online because it's still continue and it's created new market. And we introduced our online classes in a very short time of period with a very hard working team. We, we didn't run any online classes before, before this pandemic, but our team was ready to adapt all the uh, micro and the micro, uh, micro and the micro environmental factors. And we had to switch all our classes in a big time period to online. And our students liked our, the platform, our portfolio of the lessons. We provided them a different kind of teaching methodology, different kind of options during the first lockdown in the UK. And we accepted and we registered many students from overseas as well. They really enjoyed because we were running a very wide range of courses in a multiple time slots. And we were back for face-to-face -face lessons as soon as the first wave is over, we got back to our face-to-face -to -face lessons. Of course, we continue to run online courses as well. And unfortunately, and we had to go to another lockdowns. We were lucky to run our face-to-face -face classes in the lockdown, the second lockdown, because we were allowed to stay open and our students enjoyed to join us at the school. But of course, on the third lockdown, there was a, again another national lockdown and we had to go back to our full isolation at our houses. And we, this time we were ready to provide uh, more options better quality and better teaching. And because this was our second time and we were ready for it and we provided better quality, better time slots. And we were running all our time slots like face-to-face -face classes online. Our students really liked us and they still uh, like us. We have both online students and face-to-face -face students at the same time and we are teaching to them. And also our agencies, our partners is also interested in our, um, the programs, which they really like it and they continue to advertise and uh, the support for their students as well. And today we are back to Oxford Street again and we are teaching at our building and both face-to-face -face classes. It has been over two months now we were we have been teaching face-to-face uh, -face at our school and every day, every week, our student numbers are increasing at the moment because students would like to study at our school, would like to gain the experience that they had before and when everything was open. And hopefully we are running and opening new classes every week. And again, hopefully we will be running all the time slots and all the courses to our students. And from this point, I would like to give the wording and to my colleague, Kat, and she will be explaining both general English courses and IELTS courses in details and for the academic perspective. And Kat, if you'd like to Yes, please, Musa. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. So my name is Kat Jeffries, and I've been working as a director of studies for many years. Um, I run both face-to-face -face and online classes at Speak Up London. Uh, so I'm going to tell you about all the different types of courses that we run and how they differ, because you might be interested in which course would be the best for you. So Musa, could you uh, change the slide, please? And I'm going to talk about the general English classes first. Good. So um, general English courses, as you know, if you look at the name, we're talking about general English. So this is where you practice all the different skills. However, if you look at the name of the school, it's got speak up. And so we really focus on communication, on speaking, listening, correct pronunciation, so that you're able to 
talk to different people so that you're able to understand different accents and that you can survive in an English speaking country. Uh, we put a lot of focus on that. So all our classes are very communicative. Um, and whenever I talk to my teachers, teachers, whenever I train my teachers, the idea is that they spend at least 50% of lesson time, if not more, on communicative activities, which is fantastic. Um, and one thing that we notice with the students at our school is that a lot of the time they progress a lot quicker than students at other schools uh, because we give them so many opportunities to talk and to practice their communicative skills. In a general English class, of course, you're going to learn new grammar. You're going to revise the grammar that you have learned before. You're going to look at new vocabulary. We're definitely going to focus on very natural language, uh, not the kind of idioms that people never use that, and that you only see in old books. We'll look at everyday phrasal verbs, things that people actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, we will improve your pronunciation, uh, we'll practice your pronunciation for listening so that you can recognize different accents and that you understand how formality works, uh, what the culture in Britain is like, and so that you feel confident, you know, so, so that you know what to say and when to say it, uh, and so that you don't feel out of place. Of course, before you start any kind of course, we're going to give you a placement test. Uh, it's a very short test which assesses your level of vocabulary and grammar. And we will also check your, check your speaking level so that you can go into the right level class. Every six weeks, we do a progress test, um, which is when your teacher looks at your results, checks how much progress you have made and offers you a one-to-one -one tutorial session. So you'll sit down with your teacher for 10 or 15 minutes and you'll talk about your progress. You'll talk about everything you've learned in the last six weeks and what you want to achieve in the following few weeks. And then the, the teacher can tailor their advice to you, especially because of course we're all different. Um, the great thing about the resources that we use as well is that we use all the, up, the, all the most up-to-date resources offered by Pearson, which is a very um, well-known publisher. Um, these resources uh, can be uh, accessed online on your digital devices. So a lot of students will bring their mobile phones, their tablets or their laptops into the class. Uh, or if you're studying face-to-face, -face, you can also buy a hard copy of a book if you prefer to read from a paper copy. Um, currently, we don't give out any photocopies to uh, um, minimize the risk of the spread of the virus. Um, uh, but of course, our teachers are very, very well trained in making the lessons interactive, in sharing the resources on our interactive whiteboards. They will email the, re the resources to you, so you will still have the full learning experience there. Okay, um, lovely. Uh, all our general English courses that run during the day, whether that's online or face-to-face, -face, run for three hours in total. And the, the amazing feedback that we've had from our last lockdown, so the one that happened between, between January and March, was that um, the students were actually able to focus on longer online lessons. And a lot of them felt like they learned a lot more online than they did face-to-face -face because you can, you can actually focus on what you're learning a lot better without any extra distractions. Uh, so I, I think all the hard work that we've put into organizing these courses in the last year has proven that we are able to deliver very high quality face-to-face -face and online courses at um, General English. Um, Musa, could you move on please? Lovely, okay. Um, so I'm going to now focus on exam preparation courses. There are various exams available on the market. And I'd like to talk a little bit about IELTS, uh, which is a very, very popular one. Um, a little about the first certificate, Cambridge First, which you may have heard about, which is a general English course, um, the Cambridge Advanced, and a, a little bit about some new exams. So let me just start off by talking about the first certificate 
certificate. Um, first certificate in Cambridge Advanced, these exams focus on general English. They overtly test your grammar knowledge, your vocabulary knowledge, speaking, listening, reading and writing. Um, and these are fantastic tests that you can take to prove your level of English uh, to your employer. However, these days you cannot use them to apply for university uh, anymore. And what's great about them is that you can, these, these exam results are actually valid for your entire life. So you can take this exam once and you don't need to take it again. Um, some more popular tests these days as well are also online tests. They're called Duolingo or Language Cert, the Pearson exam called PTE. And there are lots of other more specialist uh, exams like business English ones. Um, we can offer preparation to, for all of these exams on a one-to-one uh, one basis as we have a very experienced team of teachers who will be able to tailor these courses to your particular needs. But one thing I wanted to focus on most today is the IELTS exam, so the International English Language Testing System. It's an extremely popular exam these days, and for people who want to enter universities, it's a must. So I'll move on to the next slide and tell you a little bit more about this. Okay, good. So IELTS is an exam that people will take uh, in order to work in a foreign country, to study in a foreign country or to live in a foreign country because it is actually accepted for visa purposes. There are different types of IELTS. You can take the academic IELTS uh, test or you can take the general test. They're very similar in their structure, but as you can probably guess, the academic exam focuses on more academic vocabulary, more academic texts, whereas the general one will focus on more day-to-day -day, um, situations. So for example, in, in, a, in general IELTS, you will have to write a letter to the estate agent uh, to deal with your rental property, uh, whereas if you are going to take um, the academic IELTS, you're going to have to write an essay or you're going to have to comment on data, okay? Um, what's fantastic about these uh, exams is that they're very thorough, they're very detailed, they're quite long, but they're able to really prepare students for the university situation. Um, they test speaking, listening, reading and writing. You will notice that there is no grammar section or vocabulary section in these exams. However, um, this exam tests your grammar and, vo and your vocabulary indirectly. So you will still get scores for your speaking and still get scores for your writing uh, based on how well you use your grammar and how well you use your vocabulary um, for those specific topics. Um, what's great about IELTS is that you can you can take it as many times as you want. Um, you can get to your feedback uh, within a couple of weeks. Um, and we as a school are able to prepare you as well as possible um, for this kind of test. Um, we work with teachers who will give you a uh, regular feedback, who will use most up-to-date resources, will give you lots of practice papers to put you in the situation where you have to uh, face the exam on the spot. Um, several of our teachers are also either current IELTS examiners or ex-IELTS examiners, so they used to do it in the past. This means that they know this, this exam inside out. They know exactly what tricks you need to know in order to get the score that you need. In fact, one of our teachers even runs special four lesson individual booster sessions that you can take right before your exam where he can tell you exactly which areas you need to improve on, what you have to be careful about to get the score that you, that you need. Lovely. Can we move on, Musa, please? Okay, so just to give you a rough idea of what is being tested in IELTS. Today, I'm going to focus mostly on academic IELTS because this is the most popular form. Uh, you'll see um, in the links that I've given that you can also look at the general training. Um, in both of these exams, the listening and the speaking part are exactly the same. Um, what is slightly different is the reading and the writing, like I said, because the topics that are covered are slightly different. OK, and um, I'll focus on the um, on the on the academic side, just because I know that a lot of people will be interested in taking IELTS in order to apply for university starting in September. So, for example, the listening test 
is a 30 minute test and it really puts you on the spot. You have to, you can only listen to the recordings once and you have different tasks that you need to complete. And they go from easier tasks to more difficult tasks and you have to fill in gaps, you have to answer questions, you have to follow a lecture, a university style, style lecture and fill out the notes. It really helps you predict the information that you're going to um, hear. It tests your grammar and it tests your vocabulary in an indirect way. And I'm just going to give you here a little, you know, um, anecdotal example. I myself went to university in France and I'd never taken the French equivalent of IELTS because at the time I never needed to do it. And when I went to my first lecture, even though I thought my French was great at the time, I realized that I couldn't focus and I couldn't take notes uh, and listen at the same time. So what's fantastic about IELTS is that because it's so detailed, because you have to practice it and take some time to pre prepare for it, when you start university, you really feel ready, uh, which is amazing. Uh, lovely. Uh, Musa, can we, can we move on to the next one, please? Okay. Um, academic reading consists of three texts, quite long texts. Um, altogether, you have to answer 40 questions and the test takes about 60 minutes. Now, three texts, long academic texts in 60 minutes is a lot. So what you need to learn in the IELTS exam is to read quickly and to search for information. According to latest research, these days people do not read for pleasure so much. Uh, Perfectly. I mean, I'm the perfect example of this. I rarely read for pleasure. I like to watch videos. I like to listen. This is how the world is changing. However, these days when we do read, we tend to search for information. We need to find something and do it quickly. So this is what IELTS is also training you for. Um, it helps you learn different techniques to recognize um, key information, predict what's going to come next, and figure out the meaning, even if you don't know all of the vocabulary in the text. Uh, this is the perfect practice for your university, where you are going to have to read a lot of texts, do a lot of research in order to prepare and in order to write your, write your essays. And um, Next one, Musa, please. Okay, academic writing is also a 60 minute uh, test where you have to answer two tasks. The first task is a very short 15 minute task. We say 15, 20 minutes, but you can decide how long you want to spend on it. And it also, it, it, it always provides you with some kind of data that you need to um, comment on. I love this task because I think it's extremely useful. And um, it will always provide you with a graph or a bar chart maybe some two maps which show changes um, where you, you have to comment on how some, something has changed over time. Uh, what's fantastic about this is that you will not only learn the skills that you need for your university, but you also learn to, uh, to, to recognize this information in, in everyday news. Every time you read some kind of news report that's on economy, or anything related to finances, you will always find language like this in newspapers. So this is absolutely brilliant. The second task asks you to write an essay. And so you will learn about different types of essays, but how they have to be structured. Because of course, at university, you will not only write opinion essays, you'll write discursive essays, you'll write about problems, solutions, and you need to know exactly how this is structured in English. Interestingly, you may not realize this a lot of the time, but in different languages, we write in different ways. We present information in different ways. We paraphrase, we repeat information in different ways. So it's extremely important that you learn this during your IELTS preparation before you go to university. Next one, Musa, please. I'm just going to take a sip of water. Mm -hmm. Um, so the last part is the speaking exam, which is a very short 11 to 14 minute exam. It's always done face to face with your examiner. There's only one other person in the room and the exam is always recorded so that other examiners in other parts of the world can listen to it and so that you get a fair mark. The exam is very pleasant and it only consists of three parts. It starts off by asking you lots of questions. And these questions may seem very simple because any 
student, even at elementary level, should be able to understand these questions. But in our classes, we show you how to answer these questions in order to get the scores that you need, right? So we will tell you exactly what kind of grammar you need to be using for every question, what kind of vocabulary will give you a good score, how you need to react, and how you can hesitate even uh, to get the right score, how to sound natural. Um, so this is exactly what, what we're going to cover in the classes. Um, you will also have to give a mini presentation, which we give you tips on. Again, something that you will often have to do at university. Um, and then you also have to argue your point in the third, in the third part. So it shows you how to structure your answers. And I'm sure you'll find that once you've learned the techniques that we give you, that a lot of the speaking answers are very similar to the written answers and you can translate, you know, you can, you can find links between, between the two. Fantastic, can I move on please, Musa? Good, so how is IELTS marked? Um, so of course you're going to get um, fixed scores for your listening and your reading. You have to be very accurate when you complete your answer sheet. You cannot make spelling mistakes. You have to ideally write in capital letters because um, those parts are checked by the computer. However, you will get uh, two or three examiners sometimes uh, to mark your writing and your speaking. And they will look at various things. They will look at whether you've answered the question, whether your answer is coherent, whether it's linked well, whether it's logical. Um, if you're using the right uh, vocabulary, if it's related to the topic, and if you're using it co correctly at an advanced level um, and they will look at your grammar and how well you can present information a lot of the time the higher your level the less words you are able to use so it's quite important that you learn these different techniques and um, in speaking they will look at your fluency they will check if your answers are logical and um, they will test your pronunciation and it's not about um, whether you have an accent or not because in general we say that it's beautiful to have accents but of course the important thing is that it's easy to understand you we need to what you say needs to be clear and so your teachers will give you pointers on what to do to um, deliver your answers in a clear way you also get marks for your vocabulary and for your grammar over here. And if you look at the picture that I've uh, attached over here, uh, IELTS uh, scores start from about B1 level, which is intermediate level. Yes, you can take IELTS if you're a lower level student, but we generally do not recommend doing this unless you want to enter a pre-sessional course at a university. Um, the exam in general is geared at students who are intermediate and above. Ideally, I personally think that it's best to be around upper intermediate, around B2 level to start doing IELTS, IELTS preparation. Depending on the course that you will want to enter at your, at your university, you will need anything between 4.0, 6.0, 6.5 level, even as high as seven if you want to study, for example, medicine, right? So you, you always have to check with your university what score you require before you tell us um, that you would like to study, study with us. Uh, lovely, I'll move on now, Musa. Okay, and so lastly, what I wanted to tell you about is the thing that I'm most proud of. So I want to be, I want to tell you a little bit more about our, our amazing team of teachers. These are only a few faces over here. We currently work with about uh, 15 teachers. Um, these teachers are, uh, some are based in London, some are based in, in other parts of the world. Uh, they are amazing individuals and not only highly qualified people, all of them have degrees, a lot of them have got a master's level qualification in English language teaching. Some of them have PhDs, so doctorates in various subjects. Um, what I love about my team is that they're fun, as you can see in the pictures, and um, they're people with interesting hobbies as well. So you can go to one of our you know, teachers concerts. Uh, you can uh, you can talk about another, you can talk about art to another teacher. Uh, some of them are ex-lawyers or, uh, you know, people who used to work as 
engineers and so they're actually able to offer you individual lessons uh, which are tailored to your needs they know a lot about different 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 subjects and i of course as the as the as the manager like to offer them regular training sessions we've had to adapt and learn a lot in the last year uh, having to teach online having to maintain the same level of fun and engagement online and I'm glad to say that every time we do feedback sessions with our teachers all students on a scale from one to five when we ask them how much they're learning the result is never below 4.5 uh, so that's my proudest you know um, part really and um, so I really hope that you can come and join us in order to meet these amazing people and make make friends with them uh, thank you Musa I think that's that's my bit done Thank you very much, Kat. Actually, it was a really good presentation for IELTS lessons. I believe it pointed out all question marks in our students' minds and answered most of the questions they might have. If you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them. Perfect. And at the end of the presentation, and we will accept the Q&As. And before switching the Q&A and sharing our offer with our students, I would like to mention a couple of details. What else are we offering to them? Of course, our um, specialty to teach English, and we are really proud of the have with the good class of teachers, but also we are proud to offer more options, more um, basically opportunities to our students. And I can easily say that we have a great accommodation portfolio to provide our students. And it's really easy for us to find a really good family to stay with them. And it's really easy for us to find a flat share so that they can share their houses with other students from studying at the university or at the language schools and like with like-minded people. And, and also, we have some students looking for premium standards to so stay with more flexibility, more freedom. So we are offering them many residence options in London, in the multiple locations. It's very close to the city center. And also, I would like to mention our social program and the activities. And we always emphasizing our students in all induction sessions when we accept the booking. And we have a great bunch of social activities that they can attend. And actually, I would like to uh, mention our Being a Student Ambassador program, which is the CATS project. And it's really working great at the moment. Kat, would you like to add? Of course, yes. So um, uh, one thing that we offer to our students is um, we allow you to um, apply um, to become a student ambassador at the school, uh, which is a way of gaining some work experience. Um, so in exchange for a short online course that we can offer you and the reference letter, as well as the fact that we cover some of the some of the expenses, um, you're able to organize some of the social activities, you're able to work with us, communicate with us, use your uh, writing skills, speaking skills in order to um, show other students around around London, organize games nights, picnics, and things like that. Um, we currently work with two Brazilian students, um, Swillen and Leandro, who are absolutely amazing and uh, have been putting a lot of effort into, um, into, 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 into running the show. Yesterday, Leandro organized an amazing trip to Oxford. Um, and so he was able to practice his language skills um, as well as um, uh, take the students uh, out make lots of friends and see and see different people. Musa, can I just mention something about the free speaking classes, please? Yeah. Oh. So there's another thing that we wanted to, uh, that we regularly offer to our students. Because we're a teacher training center, we, uh, we take on teachers who have just finished their training courses. So they're qualified teachers, but they want to be looked after by us. They want to get more feedback. They want to get some practice. These teachers uh, work for us um, 
uh, on a voluntary basis. They are volunteers um, uh, in exchange for feedback from me uh, and help with their, with, their, with their lesson plans. And so uh, thanks to this, we are able to offer students free speaking classes a few times a week. Uh, currently, we, we run three or four speaking classes every single week where students can sign up and for free attend a class. Um, these will focus on different communicative skills, but they will also uh, focus on things like listening skills or grammar. Um, uh, currently, we actually have a waiting list, I think. Pretty much every single class is <laughs> sold out. Um, the students really, really uh, enjoy them. And we're able to run them both face-to-face -face and online. Thank you, Kat. And as we mentioned before in the beginning of the webinar, and we are running general English courses for all levels, and from 9 o'clock in the morning until 9 p.m. in the evening. And also we are running for the IELTS courses, FC preparation courses, and CA preparation courses. But what I would like to emphasize more today, and IELTS preparation courses, and which we are running at the time being, for online in the midday time from 12.30 to 3.30 UK time. And at the same time, we are running face-to-face -face at the same time, again, UK time. So students can join those two programs. But what I would like to announce for them as well, we intend to open new IELTS evening class, which is from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock part-time basis, only three days a week, which allows our students to join because mostly they are working during the day from nine to five to nine to six. And they are basically, unfortunately, they cannot attend the IELTS lessons in the midday time. But we want to give them an opportunity to work and to study at the same time for their future endeavors and they can start studying with us in the evening time for IELTS preparation courses. And what I would like to announce for them today, and we would like to offer them 30% discount if they would like to register with us by the end, the end of this week. And this is a very limited time offer for them. And I would like to encourage them to just watch this webinar even the second time to get more information and um, for IELTS preparation courses and I believe it will answer uh, most of their questions about the preparation and it's going to encourage them to take IELTS courses, be ready for the IELTS exam in a couple of months and, and also September is coming and most of uh, the students right now would like to take their IELTS exams and be ready for the next semester and start studying at the university. So this is our biggest offer right now that we can, I think, uh, advertising for a long time. And I would like to give it to them by the at the end of this week, if they would like to study with us in the midday time, as uh, seen for both online or face-to-face -face according to their availability, if they are currently residing overseas, they can join our online program, which is running very successfully for a long time. And if they are residing in London, they can join, they can come and join us. And in the midday time, they can study full time. But of course, we need to consider our um, the professional students as well. they're working during the day and from morning to evening, and they would like to basically study themselves and they would like to attend English courses to study IELTS and we would like to give them an opportunity to study in the evening time, which is from seven o'clock to nine o'clock, three day basis, and they can study themselves, they can join our classes, they can get academic help from our teachers, and they can ask their questions to catch when they have for the IELTS exam preparation, and the methodology for the structure, and we will be ready to answer for all their questions. And Hopefully, and also I would like to switch now to Q&A session. And if our uh, students would like to ask the questions, the questions to us, uh, they can be both me and Kat. I uh, will try to answer those questions. Yes. Um, 
there is something we want to know. How long are the IELTS preparation courses? Shall I take this? Please, of course. Let me. Um, uh, these courses are ongoing. So this means that this course is constantly on. Uh, we divide all of our courses into terms. So each term is going to be about 12, 12 weeks long, which is when we're going to restart the book and start using it. Uh, from the beginning and um, how long each student needs is a very individual thing it simply depends on what score you need to achieve and um, I personally recommend that for example if you need to get six in IELTS this is probably about upper upper intermediate level I would recommend that you first start by doing a general English course and then you um, try to devote I would say about eight weeks to your IELTS preparation. I personally, there are students who study for longer in the IELTS classes and that's absolutely fine, uh, but it depends on you and your personality because you can learn all the, all the IELTS techniques within about eight weeks or three months at a push, um, but you don't necessarily, I would say you need to be the right level of English to enter the IELTS class in order to increase your score to, you know, buy a lot. So I would definitely recommend general English first and then IELTS if you would like to get your score quicker. Perfect. And uh, for example, what kind of certificates do the students receive when they finish the English courses? Mm -hmm. What's that? Yeah. Um, of course, we are not an exam center. We are not able to certify their levels, but uh, we are accredited by the British Council, so we are able to give them attendance certificate which certifies the attendance, a completed their courses and which we are informing uh, to the recipient, the study, the students registered to, to these periods and that long and which this is the level that um, he or she graduated. Exactly. We're also able to provide more detailed reports from teachers as some students need more information for their employers um, or for their uh, universities. So that can be also requested and the teacher is able to comment in more detail on the student's level. Okay. And um, we would like to know what are the, the tips and the process uh, for a Spanish or a European student applying to study uh, English course uh, after the Brexit in the UK? Mm -hmm. uh, currently, because of the Brexit, unfortunately, the students are not able to study as long as they want anymore. And they can come and study here for the European students. They can come and study here up to six months without any visa requirements. But if they would like to study longer than six months, they have to, they must apply a visa, which is called short-term student visa, and that they allow them to study up to 11 months. And I believe it's not going to be basically difficult for them to get this visa because, and I believe, still the, uh, the will and the wish uh, to study in the UK to learn English. So if they apply for the short-term student visa to study for the 11 months, I believe they will grant it for the visa to study in the UK and to have their studies in the future and, uh, and to uh, basically uh, have their the future, the plans and the targets and interviews and to study at the university. And for the overseas students, and most of the students from the, the South America Again, they don't have to apply for a visa up to six months. A couple of countries, they might apply uh, regardless of the duration. But most of the countries in the Southern South America, they don't have to apply for a visa. Only the booking confirmation that they uh, receive from us will be enough uh, to come in the UK and study with us. But of course, if they would like to study longer than six months, again, they must apply for the visa and uh, to be able to study in the UK face-to-face. -face. Okay, thank you. And please, uh, to finish uh, with this broadcast, uh, could you please remember us, remember the students, the special offer that Speak Up Lono has now? Definitely. Let's uh, rephrase it. And we have a 30% discount for the students, for the prospective students, 
would like to study with us both online and face to face. And I already quoted for them because of we are always recommending our students to study IELTS minimum two or three months that I would like to give them actually the clear uh, the picture and with a discount I calculated a couple of quotations for them if they would like to study online with us only they need to pay 1068 pounds for three months course and they're going to get full-time IELTS preparation course from Monday to Friday and then also the same duration for the three months if they would like to study face-to-face -face lessons in the classroom, again, £1,470 with the discount of the month, they can register with us. And I believe this rate is one of the lowest rates in the UK market right now. And they can come and study full-time at this school. And I would like to emphasize, and also even in courses, I believe which we will get more inquiries about it. Because our, most of the students come and study, come and work in the in the UK right now, they're requesting for the evening classes. And this offer, which is just 595 pounds, which will allow them to study in the evening times, which very affordable way. So offer is 30% right now, then I'm encouraging the students just to ask more questions about this webinar, about IELTS preparation courses, and then we finish it. So we will be able to answer these questions and the data inquiries. Yeah. Thank you, Kat, and thank you, Musa, for all the information you gave us today. And I want to encourage uh, all the students that uh, want to uh, study with you, that uh, they just have to contact us. It will be a pleasure to help you to study at Speak of London. And thank you, Kat, and thank you, Musa, for all the information and all the people that was with us today. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you. We went to Thank you. Okay. Thank you and bye. Thank you. Bye bye. London, see you in the London, you have to have a show. Londres, I don't have a big Buddha. Londres, what are you here to pay for that? Londres, too bad. London, but to have a visual camp. Baro, Papa. London, yes, of part. Londres, the Hubble. Londres, the Hubble. London, that's a rock band. London, often. Londres, la bienvenida. Londres está de portas abertas para você. London is open.